It's been a day, stressing out like crazy. Just wanna be lazy with my girls. It's been a day, we gonna get wavy. Layer on. Hi, and welcome back to my channel. Today, I'm going to be testing some new makeup that I picked up from Poundland. So I've got just a, just a few bits. I I did these in my uh, my Poundland haul. I'll link it above. Um, but yeah, I saw these and I thought they looked quite good for a quid, to be honest. So I've got the the Maxim More eyeshadow palette, which is quite a decent size for a pound, and the Maxim More it's like a base palette. So we've got highlight, foundation. Not sure how the foundation work. I've actually already put some on. Uh, contour and blush in there. So we're going to give those a try and I also picked up a bourgeois red lip gloss as well so I'm going to whack that on. So if you fancy watching that then stay tuned. Right okay so as I said I've already done my base as far as I've done foundation, concealer, setting powder and brows which I believe takes me up to where I will need this palette. So this is the base palette. Max and more highlight foundation contour and blush as I said before so quite hard to get into right, so they're quite quite plasticky but it's pound so that's not so bad so we've got these are the shades we've got I didn't actually realize but I've got medium so I'm assuming they've got different like light medium and dark however these these are my sort of colors anyway so that's fine so we've got um, these are highlights here. I would normally go for a champagne colour, which is what this one is anyway. So I would say that these are supposed to be the foundations. Although, I mean, foundation, it's obviously they're, they're classing it as a pressed powder foundation, but I would say it's more of a, a setting powder, like a coloured setting powder. I probably won't use those, to be honest. And then these are obviously your contour shades. This one, but then where's the bronzer? This must be the bronzer. I thought these might have been both blush. Right, so we'll go, this one's bronzer, this one's blush, and then these are your contour shades. They're quite cool tones, so they're quite nice. Anyway, let's whack it on. So, first of all, I'm gonna go in with the contour, and I'm gonna be using, I'm gonna go for the lighter one, so this one here, right. Okay. I'm just going to place it first just because I don't know how it's going to go. Right, okay, so I'm going to blend that in now. It doesn't look too bad in the mirror. I'm not sure how it's coming off on camera. I, I do find sometimes when I do um, powder contouring on the camera, it always looks really muddy. But in the mirror, it doesn't actually look too bad. I think it's the, the light in half the time. But it actually looks all right. Um... Yeah, I can't really say anything bad about that, to be honest. So, yeah, that's okay. Blended out. Sorry, I've got an itchy nose. Blended out nicely. And, yeah, seems fine. Right, so now we will go in with bronzer. So, for bronzer, I'm going to use this corner shade just here. So, it's a warm tone. As I said, I'm not sure if it's supposed to be a bronzer or a blush, but I'm using it as a bronzer anyway. I'm going to go in with a fluffy brush and put that where I normally would. That's actually quite nice as well. It's not, it's not quite as um, 
I mean, during the summer, I prefer to use a bait bronzer because, yeah, it just, it's a bit more of a sun kiss look. But even in the winter, God, what happened to my voice? <laughs> even in the winter, <laughs> even in the winter, I um, I normally use a, a matte shade in the winter, but I mean, my go-to one is the, the Too Faced Chocolate Salil. That is a lot warmer than that. But it's actually not bad. It's okay. Um, yeah. Right, so blush. So for blush, I'm going to be using what appears to be the only blush shade really, but it's quite nice. It's like a peachy, corally, pale shade. Again, that's not too bad at all. I w one thing I will say is that had I have known that there was a light, medium and a dark, I probably would have picked up the light because obviously you can't look inside the box. So I would have picked up the light, but this is coming on off quite natural on me. So I definitely think the medium suits me more. Um, so just bear that in mind with, with your skin tone. I would only probably go for the light unless I was really, really pale skinned. So yeah, right, okay. So that's all I'm gonna do for now. So I'm gonna do eyes next. I'm gonna come back to the highlighter. So we'll put him aside. Right, so for eyes, um, palette pretty much looks the same. Same feel, I'm just put that down. That's better. Same feel. Uh, right, so you've got, these are the shades. So they're all very, so, meh. so you've got cool and warm tones in there. It's very, very neutral shades. And then you've got these lovely sponge applicators in the top. And I don't know what I'm going to do. I think I'm just going to go for something quite natural. You know, just your browns with a little bit of... I'm going to try one of the shimmers as well. Right. So, let's let's get it on. Alright, so I'm st going to start off by going in my crease and just above as I normally do. This is actually a new brush as well. This one was from... Uh, this is a blending eye brush from Primark. But I thought it felt... It's only a quid. It was really soft, so we'll give that a whirl as well. So I'm gonna go in with I'm gonna go in with this one that's almost bang in the middle. So let's that up. Alright, okay. blend really well well so far they do anyway that one did so right okay so there's that one then god I've got such dry lips at the moment then on the lid I think I'm gonna I'm, I'm playing it quite simple today because obviously with these shades I can't really do much else so I'm going to put I'm gonna go in with this one next to it here so what's that, the fourth one in from the front. I'm just going to pack that onto the lid. You can't see it. Hmm, right, change of plan. Right, we're going we're gonna to try this one here, so second in from the end at the top. quite a bit of fallout and I can say that these do not go on as it's right shame because that first shade I put on seemed to go on really well but I'd say the darker shades they don't they don't really pack a punch you know they're not going on as dark as they look in the pan bearing in mind that's probably one I would have normally used on an outer corner to smoke it out a bit and I've put that all over the lid but it's actually quite pale gonna try and build it up a little bit more before I blend <laughs> oh. 
bless me right so then I'm going to use that brush that I used on the crease to just blend that in yeah it's kind of all merged into one and when you look at the shades actually in the pan they're very different we've got this one here and this one here so this one obviously looks a lot paler than this one does that's a shame right okay so I think what I'm gonna do on the outer corner I'm actually gonna go with the black and see how that goes so for that I'm gonna use my trusty like blendy fluffy brush so I'm gonna go in like bristles so I can't actually see how much I've picked up I'm gonna go in with that one okay so I'm just gonna clean that off a little bit and then we'll blend that as well Not the most intense black, obviously, but a tiny little bit of patchiness there. So if I can rectify that. Just a teeny, teeny bit of patchiness just there. It's not awful. This is why I don't do my highlighter until the end because otherwise I have to clean up around there and half of it often comes off and then I end up having to redo the lot so I might as well just wait until after I've done my eyes. Right, so then on the underneath I'm going to go in with, I think I'm going to use that darker shade that I used on the lid. So I've taken that all the way to the inner corner. I'm just going to see if I can get rid of some of this fallout. That came off fairly easily, actually. What is that? Okay, so then what I'm going to do is... I think it needs some shimmer on it so I'm gonna go for this no I'm not I'm gonna go for this coppery shade here at the bottom which is quite nice so I'm gonna pop that on around the center I think It's a very natural look, but it's not awful. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to go and do the same on the other eye and pop some mascara on, and then we will test the highlighter and the lip gloss. Right, okay, so there we go. There's the other eye done, mascara on. I mean, it's not, it's not, it's not awful. It's definitely not the worst eyeshadow palette I've used. Um, the shimmers were were fine. The mattes definitely, you know, there's there's not a lot of pigment to them, and they although they do blend well, as in evenly, it seems like when you blend them, the colour just just disappears from them. Uh, for a pound, I mean, it'd be a good backup palette. Uh, very good for like you know beginners in makeup that want a lot of colors to work with just to experiment with or anything like that but yeah it's I'd say yeah the colors on the, the payoffs just not very good on them to be honest but yeah I mean it's not as I say an awful look it's a, a nice sort of natural look but yeah so right let's try out the highlighter anyway right so we've got this one so I'm gonna go for the bottom shade which is more of a, a champagne -y shade that's 
that's not bad either. Yeah, the, the base palette, I'm just curious to see what the, oh no, that's, oh, I might try, the, I might try the other highlighter as well because I just don't feel that that one is quite subtle. I see that one's better. The top one's better than the bottom one. Although the bottom one seemed to look like it was more champagne when it was on, it was kind of like a, I don't know really, it wasn't like icy or pink or anything really. It was just, just very subtle. Okay. Yeah, that's a little bit more me. Right, I'm also gonna just pop a little bit of my inner corners. Right, okay, so I'm just going to pop some setting spray on and then we will try out that lip gloss. Right, okay, so this is um, the Rouge Edition Aqua Lac and it says Intense Shine and it's 04 Vienne City Roses. <laughs> right, so I'm probably got that completely wrong I uh, haven't done French for quite some time but yeah so it's kind of like this ready shade and it's like that so it's very glossy and slightly transparent -y, I'd say so with regards to red lip pencils I don't have any to be honest I have looked out for one in particular in the Primark ones but yeah, I don't have any. So I'm just gonna use this as an old, this is the closest I've got. It's like um, a Spice by Kylie Cosmetics and I've had this ages to be honest, really out of date, but I'm just gonna line my lips with this one. More of a winter shade, but never mind. Right, so then I'm gonna use this. I'm gonna try it on its own first I think and see how we go that's actually really nice it's giving me a really nice ombre lip without the effort so like that feels really nice on as well doesn't feel sticky it feels quite hydrating so yeah quite quite pleased with that right so there we go Finito. Right, so yeah, as I say, I've already explained the eyeshadow palette, uh, the, the base palette, I'd say is pretty good. I would recommend getting that, especially for a pound. Um, yeah, really pleased with that. The highlighter is actually, now I've put the second shade on, I really like that. And yeah, the contour, bronzer, blush, yeah, they all seem fine. They're both very natural. But yeah, great for a, a little backup or, you know, a beginner sort of makeup palette or whatever. Yeah, cool. And uh, yeah, I quite like the lipstick as well. So I'll give you a little close up of the eyes. There we go. And yeah, that is, that is the lot. So yeah, if you enjoyed watching, then please give me a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and ding the bell for future notifications i usually upload on a monday wednesday and a friday at around 6 p.m so i hope to see you there thank you bye <laughs>